step forwards to my shadow. You are for love in my pattern. Hello and welcome to the ladies' room. Today my guest is Nadia Ernestus. She is a health educator, a wonderful chef, and she is known as the Kraut Queen. I am your host, Judy Lynn, and I am thrilled that you're joining us at the ladies' room. So we have a lot of great information for you today because she's the best at health food stuff. <laughs> so Nadia, what's up today? Today we're going to talk about blood sugar, fiber, weight loss, and health. Okay. How all of this hooked together. So um, I started, as you know, my whole sort of journey into health food started when I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It was a while ago, maybe 12 years ago. Yeah. And I didn't want to take drugs. So I said, give me three months. Uh, so I'll try to reverse it. And you, yeah, and you researched. I did research. It was a long story short. What I found out that what does stabilize your blood sugar is vegetable fiber. It is soluble and unsoluble fiber. And back then, there was really no explanation as to why. They just knew, you know, experientially that that what happens. So mm -hmm. I literally flooded my diet with all kinds of things made of vegetables. And today we're going to do one of them. The idea behind what we're going to make is that vegetables are hard. It's hard to chew them. It takes a long time. They are not, they don't give this emotional. Oh. Yeah, They're it's not, not like user, a candy bar. <laughs> not user friendly. Yeah. We're going to make them user friendly today. Okay, great. But what I also want to say is that when, long time after, when I took the course in human microbiome, and learned about the bacteria that live in your stomach. And you know, that's my big thing I love to talk yeah. about. That's when um, I understood why the fiber regulates the sugar in your blood, right? If I repeat myself, if you heard me before, it's okay, because this is really important this is good. information. Repetition is good. <laughs> it's really so what, what does the fiber do? Does it absorb like the bad no. stuff and flush you it out? You know that in your intestines, yeah. you have from two to four miles pounds, of intestines. pounds of bacteria. Ah. Two to four pounds. Ten times more back microbes and bacteria than yeah. the cells in your entire body. Wow. There is ten times more of them than there is of you. There's trillions of bacteria in our body. Maybe even more than Held together by this little thin... Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you feed the ones that the, make you healthy, ones. you become healthy. Right. Each bacteria has their own genetic makeup. Right. We have our own. We can't change it. So we, we have the... We're born we with, can change everything about we, ourselves. Well, but not that. You can't change what you're born with. You're born with predisposition to certain... To certain you things, can and you change those things. But you change those things by, by changing your second genome, by changing the by feeding the good bacteria in your exactly. microbiome. That is how you do it. Right. What you're born with, you're born with. You're born with blue eyes, blonde hair. Well, yes. And and yes. also the predisposition. The outer the way, stuff. The way the you, inner stuff you can change. The way you deal with it yeah. is because your second genome with bacteria that have all their own genetic. Uh, genetic makeup, markup, makeup, you can change, you, if you feed the good ones, it will make you healthy. So when you eat a lot of fiber, it feeds the bacteria in your intestine that lower your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay. And so people are always on diets. Why don't, why don't diets work? Diets don't work. I mean, they all work. They all work as long as we stay on them, right? Yeah. I mean, even mm -hmm. the, of course, but the moment you get off it, that when it becomes a problem, right? Because they're not sustainable. That's why they don't work. They don't work because we are not made to live on willpower. The God, nature, whatever you're saying, created you. That was not the idea. You were not supposed to live on willpower. We're supposed to crave things we need. Yeah, with free will to choose the right thing. That's right. Only we get... 
we get really confused because we, we get out of touch with our own cravings because there's so much around us yeah. that stimulates what and we want fast, and tell fast, us what we want. Food. Want this, want that, this yeah. is good, the, you know. So we sort of lose that. Look at all the people now taking Ozempic to lose weight. That's crazy. That's a bi diabetic drug, right? That is a diabetic Stay drug. Stay away from pharmaceuticals, I people. I think pancreatic cancer. They say, yeah, well. It's for pancreatic cancer? No, it causes. Causes pancreatic cancer. <laughs> Oh, please stay away from pharmaceuticals. So, this is how the fiber in your diet helps you lose weight. Okay. I lost weight twice in my life without trying. Once, I went to a spa in Canyon Ranch in the oh, Berkshires. Wow. Five million dollars a day. Five million dollars a day. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't go to lose weight. I went for, you know, the spa Relax, treatments yeah. and also for the gym. I was crazy. In the gym, they had like this beautiful new gym. So the way they do it, you, there's like no food around. So you come to the, to, to the cafeteria, whatever, to the restaurant there, starving. And the first thing you see is like this buffet full of herbs and leaves and seeds and berries Not what spilling you want over hungry, like yeah. that much. Are you hungry enough? So you get yourself two plates of this, and then they bring you a piece of fish like this, and you're done. Mm. So the second time, and I, I lost weight without trying, yeah. just because I ate that much, that many vegetables, yeah. that much vegetable fiber. Second time, I was working as a health coach, maybe also about 10 years ago, and I was counseling for one corporation. I was doing health workshops, and they asked me to do green smoothie health workshop for them. Okay. And I was tasting it for a couple of weeks. It's probably terrible. Oh, it's delicious. You know, I'm making it. Oh, good, yeah. It's you my green smoothie. Everything you make is delicious. So what I was trying to do, I was tasting it to make sure it's delicious, So because yeah. I want to make it during the class, so people actually like it and right. do it. And I did it for 10 days, and I lost weight. Just by tasting that green smoothie, not me. Absolutely not changing anything else. Wow. When you put a lot of fiber in your diet, first thing that you will notice is that your portions will get smaller just by themselves. Is oatmeal fiber? Yes, oatmeal. Remember how they were saying that oat bran lowers cholesterol? Yeah. And I was like, how do we, does it soak up the fat? Like, how does yeah. it look? It feeds the bacteria in your intestines. So, Oat bran has certain carbohydrate that fills the, bacteri the bacteria in your intestine that lower your cholesterol. And it's slower releasing in your body than yeah. the other grains. We make oatmeal, oatmeal almost fantastic. every mo morning. But it's we put so a slow. lot of raisins in it, a lot of walnuts in it, a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and, and then fantastic. put a tiny bit of maple syrup on it when you're ready to eat no, it. No, why not? It's like ambrosia. That's right. And, uh, and, so and has, you don't get hungry all day. No, it's remarkable. it has good carbs. Yeah. It has um, fats from the nuts and protein from the nuts that keeps you... And potassium from the raisins. Yeah, yeah, but that, it keeps you not hungry for not a long hungry. time. You don't get hungry. Okay, now we're going to... So we have okay. enough Now we're going to launch into making we're going some to be good, making, so delicious we're put food. The, the gloves we're on because we're dealing with beets. Beets. And we don't want to get too notorious around. for staining everything. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a grated salad. It is like a slaw. Remember grated salad? We did it once with yeah, Judy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a little different one. It's like a slaw. It lives in your fridge for a couple of days. It is fantastic. You can eat it all day as much as you want. Okay. You can start in the morning yeah. and eat it all day without stopping. We're going to peel the beets. Oh, I get to peel the beet. All right. Do you want me to give you a peeled beet? Um, well, I'm going to help. You're also going to start grating it. There. Let me give you a peeled beet. Oh, I'm going to grate it. Trim it. And okay. start grating it. In the bowl or on the thing? On the bowl. In the bowl. Because yeah, it's big. In the, in, the, in the big one. The big okay? One. And I'm yes, going to so grate myself really quick. Because I am a fast peeler and a fast slicer, <laughs> <laughs> having been doing it for the large part of my life. So when you grate the vegetables, and then we're going to add just a little bit of, oops, do you think it's going to be too loud? <laughs> what? Exactly. Do you think it's going to be too loud for people to hear me talk? Sounds like a blender. Should I do it slower? Let's just do one. 
Okay, see. Do you want the bigger bowl? I just don't want it to be too loud. Shall I leave the room? No. <laughs> well, how much, just, how much do we need? Just one, just one beat. Just let the one beat. It might be the, it might be the bowl that's making the most noise. All right, sounds good. So when you grate the vegetable, I peel my apples and I peel cucumbers because I don't like it. It's just my preference because of the skin. I don't like texturally. And the cucumbers um, don't add too much water to the mix. Well, we're not going to have cucumbers. I'm just saying stuff that I peel. And we're going to peel carrots, but you don't really have to peel carrots if you have a very good um, organic. Yeah, it's all organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then the peel is not full of yeah. chemicals and pesticides. The Look Suffolk at that purple one. Suffolk County uses 6.5 tons of chemicals and uh, pesticides for landscaping and lawn shaming. Worst in the country. People, let your yeah. pro property get a little wild in places. Yeah, Don't I worry about those lawns so much. Um, Me too. I have that plenty of weeds now. Me too. <laughs> Me too. And I'm even loving dandelions now. Do I have okay. to peel it down to the very last nub? Oh, I think that's fine. We're just going to just to give an idea okay. about what it is that we're trying to achieve here. So when you peel those ve vegetables and then you grate them and then you add just a little bit of lemon and a little bit of salt. The salt and the lemon will both draw the, the juice out of that. Oh, cool. Right? And it becomes yeah. juicy. I'm going to save this because I throw everything out for the animals. We're going to put it in the compost or we're going to give it to the compost. Exactly. Well, the animals. I give it to the animals. Animals. But they don't. Let's leave it all in this. Look so it. it looks nice and pretty. Okay. Then we're going to do the carrot really quick. Huh? I'm looking for a bowl for this. Okay. So I use, if I have a choice between organic and non-organic, I use organic. I am not crazy if I go to the restaurant or if I go to people's house, I eat what they give me, okay? But if I have a choice between organic and not, I will buy organic. Mm -hmm. Because exactly what, 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 yeah, why you said it. Because of yeah. pesticides and chemicals. Because your liver fantastically can cleanse themselves and take out the toxins. But why add more toxins than you need to? Because in, in organic food, you'll there overdose, are you'll less overdose on toxins. There are less toxins. Yeah. On a, there, is a, there are less in organic you food. You know, since the corporation started buying up all the health food, uh, like Hanes and Celestial Seasons and all those, now the new law is it only has to be 40% organic to be labeled organic. Not at all true. My, really? product, my product was organic, certified organic, and every single dr dr crumb of it had to be organic. Well, yeah, but they do harass the organic farmers, that's for sure. I'm not the, I was not the farmer. I was a producer of organic food, and I had a certified organic, and no, it is not true. 100% organic. Okay. They, you have to be 100% organic. Good. You have do you to, want me to peel the apple. You I think we'll have, we'll have enough of that. Okay. We'll just do one. Okay. I think I was too ambitious when I said that too was going to do Oh, we could be apple and, and a pear. Is... Did you bring a pear? No. Oh. Why don't you what cut do you want some me to of do that? Cut the ends? Yeah. So we put in here, we put apple, carrot, and beet. I am going to add lemon juice in it while we're peeling all this. So it starts drawing water. So I'm going to cut them like this? Just, no, you can cut them like this. Just the greens. Oh, you only want the greens. I want the greens. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're going to put some of this, and we're going to put some salt, and this is, by the way, I don't know, I'm not supposed to have brands here, but this salt has almost 53% less sodium. Oh, okay. Let me put a little bit. And then we're going to find something to stir with. Should I use these greens that I cut off? I'm sorry? Is that enough or should I use these greens? Plenty is really too good. Just like this. And then we're also going to use some dill. And we're going to cut it very thin, if I can find a knife. That is my favorite 
herb combination. Because it's dill and scallions. Ooh, that's interesting. I would never think of that. That's it. Very Slavic. Dill and scallions together, delicious. That's it done. Okay. Less than 10 minutes. And we have, oops. A salad. We have, yeah. It's sort of like a slaw. Uh -huh. We're going to mix it very well. It's already giving a lot of juice. Uh -huh. did, well, you didn't put the cucumber in yet, though. We didn't. I didn't even have a cucumber. But you oh. can put. I just put sweet things in it. Okay. So that, the lemon juice. So you know, like, how beets have this sort of earthy taste? Yeah. If it sits in lemon juice for about 10 minutes, it gets sort of cured in lemon juice. It loses it completely. Wow. You will see when you take it home how different it will taste. Wow. Taste? <laughs> Make my teeth red. Oh my god, so good. Good? Oh, delicious. That's all, that's all it took. So, you can use your food processor. I find that it's longer to then no. clean. That'd clean the food processor than to do this. Then you gotta clean the whole thing. Exactly, and take it apart. But if you do make a lot, then by all means. Yeah. So you can grate any vegetables that are hard and grateable, right? Mm -hmm. Kohlrabi, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Kohlrabi is the, is is um is like a, you know, the cabbage core. Right. It's, Here, I'll take it. So um, you do it with cucumber. Uh huh. Um. You can do fennel. Oh, fennel's so All good. sorts of radishes. Mm -hmm. um, parsnip. Anything. All the root vegetables. And then you put lemon on everything? Lemon and salt, and we don't even have any oil in it. No oil. That's amazing. No. Huh. So this is like health in a bowl because it has, you know, the beets and everything. It has yeah. so many minerals and vitamins. And... If you have that twice a day, you lose weight. Wow. Because the fiber will do that for you. If you have it before you go out to a restaurant, you'll eat ah, less. Ah, you'll eat less. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's and good. And you'll digest it better. What else are you going to make? I think we made it. Ah. It only took us a couple of minutes. That's a salad. That's a salad. So. The point I was trying to make about bacteria, now that we have a couple of minutes, let me reiterate that. Mm -hmm. When you, the bacteria that live in your intestine cannot live without you, you cannot live without them. Right. They are part of you. Right. The symbiosis is so close that Michael Pollan says, when you talk about yourself, say we. I would change your brain, yeah. Say we instead of me. Uh-huh. Because it's you and trillions and also of bacteria. Them. Yeah. So your whole um, focus should be on what to add to your diet that will multiply them, the good ones, and what not to add that would kill them. Yeah. So what kills good bacteria in your intestine? Sugar. No, I mean sugar doesn't kill them. Sugar's sugar just will feed the yeast. Sugar, feed, sugar feeds the bad bacteria. Sugar feeds the bacteria you don't want to have to make yes. so much of. 100%. Right. How about chlorine in the water? Oh, yeah. Chlorine is in the water to kill bacteria. If you yeah, drink true. chlorinated water, what do you think happens? Yeah. What about How, chloride in water? I don't know that it's fluoride. Well, a lot that? of people won't use fluoride toothpaste because of the same reasons. Yeah, but the Americans have such good teeth. And we didn't have fluoride in the water. We have horrible teeth from Europe. Well, I don't know. Yeah. So it was a trade-off. But so um, another thing that kills bacteria are preservatives in food. Because how do they preserve food? They yeah, preserve they food by killing bacteria. Right. It can't grow. Yeah. So it's not. It's not like it's coated with something like Adam cheese with this coating. No. It, but it's all, the bacteria alights on a piece of bologna, takes a bite, and dies. Uh -huh. It kills bacteria. That's why. And I came to this country, and I saw that I saw bread in the store, and expiration date was four weeks from now. Yeah. And I said, "How can it be four weeks from now? Where I come from, they make it in the morning, and by four o'clock, it's half price. Right, and the next day, it's still. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so 
That's the second thing that kills bacteria in your intestine. The third thing is, how about pesticides? Pesticide, well, it's toxin. Toxins kill big bugs on the trees, but also little bugs in your intestine. Yeah, and if it kills the that big bugs on the why, trees, then it winds up killing birds. That is why we are trying to eat organic. That's why. Because it, the toxins is not just the toxin that's, that stay in your body because your liver is so overworked that it can't flush it out, but also because they kill the good guys. Yeah. And what about sauerkraut and all of the uh, uh, fermented? You do a lot of fermented foods, mm -hmm. right? I go now, ferment, that... I'll go home and ferment all of this. <laughs> really? How, and how would you do that? How would you ferment I will do this with I have cabbage at home. So you have several different colors of. I will what probably... is the difference between these different colors of, of carrots? They're just, just, just carrots. But are they the same nutritionally? Probably not. Probably a little bit different. You know well, how I they say the eat the rainbow? Oh, because yes. every every color, the bright color that you eat brings something eat to your diet. And eat things that are in season. And beet, yeah. these are great for salad. The 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 leaves? Yeah. The leaves you, are great for, cook for, the soup, for soup. Yeah, true. Uh, you can put it in um in in stock, in broth instead mm -hmm. of noodles. Really? I do that a lot. Spinach huh. or beet, because you, what you want in the soup yeah. is something that fills it a little right. and keeps the broth in. So, right. Right. so instead of broth. eating a lot of carbs, you can just have huh. that. So I always think I want to make spaghetti squash instead uh -huh. of pasta, and I haven't gotten myself to do it yet. But is spaghetti squash same. good for you? It's, of course it's good for you. It's not the same, though. Huh. It doesn't give you that same thing as pasta does. Yeah. Carbs are carbs, you know, you have to be, it's, so, hard, it's hard to trick yourself. In an ordinary it. day, what do you make yourself for dinner and stuff? I always have some protein in the fridge. Uh-huh, and what that kind of protein? Chicken, fish. Uh-huh. Um, or, like, lately I'm really into collagen stuff. Uh-huh. Like cow feet and all the horrible things that you boil forever. Cow's feet? Mm -hmm. and My grandmother ate things thing. like that. Yeah. My grandmother ate tripe and all kinds my of things. My hair and my skin are out of control. I really? started eating it. Like you That's can people great. stop me on the street and say what happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. huh. I, all of a sudden I had like a I really felt like I wanted to have some collagen. So stuff. they're selling. But I also buy in the Stop and Shop. I love the one in Hampton Bays. They have different Vital stuff. greens. They have no. They have uh, frozen fillets of fish. I like wild caught the whole fillets mahi mahi and wow. salmon, and for a great price and such and delicious. At Wild by Nature or Stop and Shop? Not by Wild by Nature. Stop and Shop. They have and the you, best I, Stop and Shop in the area. And you go to Hampton Bays? When, when I'm there. When oh, I'm okay, because there's a big stop and shop I, in Southampton. It's terrible. It is? Yeah, it's oh. like day and night because they are uh, they're owned by different people. They're franchises. Oh, they're franchises. So oh, they're I different. Didn't know that. Yeah. that one is oh. fantastic in every aisle of it. Is a, a, no matter what it is, cookies or paper towels, but there will be a section that says organic or, or free from. In every aisle would be a section that organic and free. If it's an aisle for soup, it will be for soup. It's for, uh, it, but that's Stop and Shop. Stop and Shop. But in Hampton Bay is not Southampton. Not Southampton. Huh. I mean, maybe they have that also. Our but, Stop but, and Shop in East Hampton is so limited by the space because that building is that building. So they pulled out a bunch of... Um, a stationary yeah. racks and put moving racks. But so they merchandise can... is different, I'm saying. Yeah, in that's... that one in Hampton Bay, they have stuff that they don't have in others. Ah. You're probably going to cook with that. Will you cook with all of this? No. No. No, you Goes can Goes to my that. animals. You can go to them. Goes to my dear little deer family. All right. And we're the so only ones... I would have, and I have this a lot uh -huh. at home. I would I make something some like that. that, that that's it. You think that's home. But I'd, I would, I... Make that and it lasts for a couple of days. Okay. And so I would have some sort of protein with some kind of vegetable. Uh -huh. Do you eat pasta? Every so often. And you I love eat, it so much. I love it so much. And I don't like the um, whole wheat pasta. It doesn't taste good to me. But there, there is a pasta, um, that brown rice pasta. 
that oh, we really? found, oh, that and it great. is absolutely delicious. I would try that. Where delicious. are you finding it? In uh, King Collin, in the organic section. Okay. There is a couple of them, and we tried it, and it was very, very good. It was exactly like pasta, mm -hmm. only in a very high um, protein content. And are you teaching not, classes anywhere, cooking classes? What are you doing these days? I know you've, soon, uh, you've soon. been working so hard for so long. You're taking it easy now? No, well, I do a lot for Ukraine now. Yeah. There is a lot to be is done. Is there a website that people can donate? Or what, 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 Help what can people do to help Ukraine? Mm -hmm. And is that you, or is but that they, something? They, if anybody can, they, I'm easy to find. And if anybody wants to do something or donate something, then um, just find me. For as long as the war goes on, and I'm sure for quite yeah. a bit longer. So first aid, over-the-counter medicines. We always need suitcases because that's we use them to ship stuff over oh, on the plane. Oh, interesting. I have yeah. a bunch of suitcases. I, I need that. Up. Okay. And um, crutches, wheelchairs, when the, a hurricane, walkers. When the earthquake happened in uh, Haiti, we got so many donations of crutches and things like that. So so if people want to donate all medical equipment yeah. and crutches and things like that, just help Find Ukraine. Me. Nadia Ernestus. Yeah, it'll come up under her name, Nadia at NadiaErnestus.com. So yeah. always good information. I was hoping you would grate the cat, the apple and the pear. Oh, because when you, you do that, yes. I love it so much. It takes like two seconds to do yes. it. And I it literally like, tastes like an apple pie. It tastes like dessert. Yeah, it that's tastes a, like it's dessert. a great trick. And there's no sugar, no cinnamon, no, no nutmeg, nothing. no nothing. Just and an apple still tastes and the pear. One whole apple, one whole pear with Grated. this grater in a bowl. Mix it Delicious. together. Don't add anything. Mix it with a fork. Start eating it. Becomes so juicy, so yummy, right? It's a that dessert. It's the, most, it's the best dessert, mm -hmm. and it takes like two seconds and to make it. And fantastically satisfying. Yep. Now, that hits a spot. Yep. That hits your yep. your, your I comfort. I was really wanting it your today, so food. I'm <laughs> upset. I should have done it. It hits the comfort food spot. When you do that. Yeah, it that's does. It really does. It really right? does. Well, Nadia, my friend, it's always good to see you. Nice to see you. And through. thanks for this. This is incredible. So this is beets, scallions. Um, this is beet, carrot, apple, and then you add the herbs in it. And yeah. I added scallions and dill. But scallions and dill. But my friend loves it with pomegranate seeds and cilantro. Oh, and cilantro. A lot uh -huh. of people don't like cilantro. I love cilantro. So I get to take this home, or are you going to take half of it? You can take it home. Yay. All right. Well, thank you for joining us once again. LTV, we love LTV. LTV is amazing. Come and be a guest on our show. They have all new equipment. We don't even, we're like all over the place because we don't even know where the cameras are. We don't have to be <laughs> mic'd anymore. The, there's a big microphone in the ceiling. LTV has entered like of the next millennium. <laughs> So time. thank you for joining us, and we will see you next week. Bye -bye. Oh, give yourself lots of room for fun, for love, for good food to grow and to glow. This food will make you glow. Look at these cheeks. Natural beauty. <laughs> All right. See you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You find